This is Phil Batacola, uh, director, producer, co-writer of Milkshake, and... This is Mark Gonzalez, co-writer of Milkshake. And we are on episode, episode three, yeah? Episode three. Funny story about these episode con naming conventions that I think I'll get into. Yeah. Uh, this was originally, these first four episodes were originally written as one episode. Uh, but through the cutting process, I think Phil realized one, it's a bit long for the internet, and two, there were these natural breakpoints that had developed either out of the script or out of the way that the actors were playing certain moments, and you just realize, oh, this is a good break. This is, you know, if it was a TV series, this is where the commercials would go. I, that's, that's correct, and then also I had done a little research with the average, about the average time a webisode should be, quote, end quote, should be. Yeah. And it was about four minutes. And so uh, I'd approached you about breaking them up. Uh, sorry, I'd approached you about breaking them up, and then it just sort of happened that there were some natural breaks that would, that would work uh, in line with what you were saying. That Yes, there were some natural breaks. We had to adjust some of them and rewrite some stuff here or there and do some re-editing in order to fit that. Shoot inserts, get wild lines. As far, I don't, I don't think there was actually new stuff written. I think there was, characters were given, oh, characters had to be given lines that reiterated the fact that he's, that Deb thinks she's knocked up. Okay, so right, there's right. A, there's a line close to the end here where Bum says, or there's a line in a couple of minutes here where Bum says, it looks like you already did do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah that whole thing. Uh, so this, this, this shot here, I, I know that we're, Taking a bit of time here to get into this, but this shot here, this is a three shot of them in the car, was several weeks after the initial sh uh, uh, initial photography, and that's just because of all of our schedules and we were, were all working um, our regular jobs. But I love I love this these, this three shot of them here to, to see them all in the same shot here with the lights behind them. That shot there is cheated. That that shot of uh, him looking him looking of, of sorry of. Um, Danny looking. Uh, yeah, Danny or Lance looking. That's in the back seat. Now this is kind of a, this was always a funny bit to me. You, you do a really great job with these visual gags that I never think of. My scripts, especially for this early one, uh, it was, it's very dialogue heavy. There's very little visual gags going on. But to have them drinking milkshakes in this scene implies that not only did they agree to drive this guy around, but they also said, why don't we stop and get one more milk? Yeah, let's, let's get some more stuff. And this so that happened, scene was really cool. That obviously happened off screen, and I like any kind of joke or moment that implies that there's something more going on than just what we're seeing on screen. And have you noticed here that the, the streets are somewhat deserted? A little, <laughs> little. Point. We're, we're approaching 2 in the morning, I think, with some of these internal shots. This, of course, is several weeks later. So if you look at the clock. You can't see it. It says 3.06 a.m. We are still going. Yeah, it's now 3.06, and you guys are kind of in mid-Wilshire area at this point, I think. <laughs> I like don't know. We, we might be in, like, Sacramento. We've been driving all night. 